Hey guys and welcome back to another Imagine Before tutorial. In today's video I'm going to be showing you how to make it so your audio can be played through level transitions. So whether you want music to start in the main menu as soon as the player loads up the game and then when they press play they load up a new level and the music stays there, I'm going to show you how to do this. But again it could be any time, so if you've just got general background music in your game and the player then goes to a different level, you want the music to stay there. So let me open up my main menu and show you what we're going to create today. So if I hit play, you can hear that we have music in the background, we've got our main menu music, which I'll leave a link to in the description down below, this is copyright free. If I hit start, we're going to get the loading screen, and the music stays in when we load into our new level. So as you can see, and you hear there, the music stayed persistent throughout the level change. So we transition to a different level, and it worked. If you just use a normal play sound 2D, it will end when this level ends, because it's only playing at that one level, so when you change, it will stop. But with this method, it stays between each level transition as well, which works perfectly for us. So without further ado, let me delete this code and I'll show you how I've done it. So the first step we want to take is we want to create a game instance. And the reason we're doing this is because a game instance is a blueprint which stays persistent throughout each level. So otherwise, whenever you change a level, each blueprint gets reset. This includes the character blueprint as well. So each blueprint gets reset upon level change, apart from the game instance. That stays the same until you exit the game. So until the game is quit, nothing is reset in that game instance, unless obviously you tell it to. Which is why it's useful to use for playing the music, because then when we change levels, it's not going to stop. So to create one, what we're going to do is right click in the content browser here, wherever you want this. Mine's just in the third person BP blueprints. So going to right click, go to blueprint class, and we're going to open up the all classes at the bottom down here, search for something, and we're going to search for a game instance. Select game instance there, hit select. I'm going to name this one My Game Instance. You can name this absolutely whatever you like, just don't name it Game Instance as that will then confuse you in a second. But again, name it what you want, and then we need to set it up so that we're actually using this. So to do that, we're going to go to Edit, Project Settings, then we're going to go down to Maps and Modes, and you can see we have Game Instance here and Game Instance Class. We want to change it from Game Instance, which is why I said don't use Game Instance, because we already have one named that. So we're going to change it from Game Instance to my game instance, or whatever it is that you named it. I'm going to close that, and now this game is using this game instance we already have. Again, if you've already created one, you can just use that instead. And then we're going to open up that game instance that we just created. In here, it's a very simple little amount of code. So we're going to hit the plus function here to create a function. I'm going to name this one start music, or you can have this as play audio, anything along those lines. So actually I might change it to play audio just so it sounds a bit more generic than just start music. And then out of this function here, I'm going to create sound 2D. So create sound 2D there, and we're going to open up the drop down menu to get all of these options that we have here. What we're going to do is we're going to drag the sound onto the play audio so we can get it on there into the input of the function. I'm going to rename that to be audio. Then we're going to do the same with the volume multiplier, drag that onto the function. I'm just going to rename this to be volume. And you can do that with any of these. So what we're doing here is we're just simply allowing it so whenever we call this function, we can change it to be a different audio, different volume, anything along those lines. And again, you can do that for the pitch, start time, all of these if you wanted. What we also want to do is make sure that we drag in persist across level transition as well. And I'm just going to name this one persist question mark as that makes sense to me. And we want to make sure that is true. So you don't have to drag in if you don't want, you can just tick it. However, I'm going to drag it in as it makes more sense for me but make sure you have that one in there because that is what's going to allow us to keep it across level transitions because that makes sense, it's persist across level transition so with this ticked, with this true, it means that it won't get destroyed and stop when we change levels. So what we're going to do after this is right click on the return value, promote it to a variable, name this audio or sound or music, anything you like and then we're going to come out of that and we're going to get a play node. So just play function there like so. We can compile and save that and that's that function done. It's very simple to set up. What we've done is essentially we've just created a function which is going to create the sound and play it and we've set it up so that whenever we call this function we can change these three different values here to get it different each time and to make sure we are ticking persist across level transition as well. So we can compile, save and close that as that's all we need to do. Now we want to go into the blueprint where we want to start this music. So again for me I just want to do this whenever I start playing the game. So for me I'm going to go to my main menu level so that's going to be content levels main menu level and I'm going to do this off of the event begin play so I'm going to go to blueprint open level blueprints and then you can see I already have event begin play here I'm just creating the main menu widget which I do have a video on creating as well so out of this off of event begin play I'm going to cast to 
the game instance I made, which I named mine my game instance. The object of this is going to be get game instance, and then as my game instance, I'm going to call function play audio, or whatever you named it. And you can see here we now have these three different things which we want to mess about with. So the audio, I want to just be my 8 bit music loop, which again I'll leave a link to in the description. The volume I'm going to have as 0.5 so it isn't too loud for you, but the default volume is 1, so you can set it to 1 if you want. But again, I'm making it a little bit quieter. And we want to make sure we tick persist, so this will stay across level transitions. Again, you can leave that as name as persist across level transition if you like, but I know what it means and persist is just shorter. So we're going to compile and save and that should be the code done for us. So if we hit play, we get it in the background, it's started. If I press start, we're going to have the loading screen and then we go into the game perfectly like so with the music still playing as well. So I'll show you what happens if we just use play sound 2D. So if I move that out, disconnect it and just get play sound 2D instead. I'll show you what happens instead. So we get the same music, we hit play, we get it, we hit start, we've got the loading screen. And when we load in, it actually stops. So we've changed levels and then the audio is stopped, which obviously we don't want. So this method here works much better instead as it actually persists across level transitions. So I think that'll be it for this video. If we've done anything we want to do, it's a very quick, simple video, but one which is kind of a hidden little thing, which many people don't know. And it's also very good to use in games. Again, if you have just general background music, you want across all levels. So again, I'll show you here. We hit play, we've got the music, hit start, we're changing levels and we keep the music as well. So thanks so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed and I hope you found it helpful, and if you did, make sure to like and subscribe down below. So thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.